So imagine this. You click login on Instagram, and in less than a second, your entire feed shows up. Ever wondered how that magic happens? In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you exactly what's going on behind the scenes without any tech jargon getting in the way. How does your screen update in seconds with exactly the data you need? Is it some kind of high-tech magic? Nope, it's just the power of three hidden layers working together. Front-end, back-end, and database. If you're learning web development, applying for a job in the field, or just curious about how websites actually work, this video is for you. Plus, this is the kind of knowledge you can casually flex to impress someone, just don't do it in your first date. In this video, I'm going to break down how these three components work together step by step, so the next time you open an app or a website, you'll know exactly what's happening behind the scenes. Before we begin, I want you to understand what you'll be getting from this video. You'll learn what the front-end, back-end, and database does, and how all three layers communicate, so you can see the full journey of a single click on a website. To make this super easy to understand, let's think of a website like a restaurant. Front-end means whatever you see on your screen and interact with. It's the actual image, text, and layout you see on your screen. So for a restaurant, front-end is the menu and dining area. It's the setup and ambience of the restaurant. Next is back-end. Back-end is the place where actual heavy lifting is done. In short, it is the kitchen and chefs. It does tasks based on your order. It figures out how to prepare it and makes sure everything is cooked correctly and delivered to you as you wish. Next comes database. It simply means where data is stored. So in this restaurant analogy, database is the pantry or storage room. It keeps all the ingredients, recipes, inventory, and provides them when the kitchen needs them. Now you might have a question. Where is the role of waiter in this analogy? The role of waiter in web development is performed by an API, which stands for Application Programming Interface. In simple terms, it is like a middleman that exchange message between front-end and back-end. So in the restaurant analogy, its work is to take order from you and give it to the kitchen chefs and serves the dish to customers. So to summarize the steps, when you place your order from sitting area, waiter will send the order to the kitchen. After that, kitchen fetches the right ingredients from the pantry to cook the food. After the dish is ready, it sends it to customer through the waiter. Simple, right? And that, my friend, is how these front-end, back-end, and database works together. Now let's put the restaurant analogy aside and look at how the front-end, back-end, and database actually work together in the real world. When you first visit a website, the user interface you see on your screen immediately sends a request to the back-end for certain data to display. For example, imagine you visit Amazon.com. Within seconds, your screen fills with product listings. But what's really happening behind the scenes? Your front-end is sending a request to the back-end for product data. This request is usually sent through an API, often in JSON format, which basically acts as a messenger saying, hey, the front-end needs product details. The back-end receives that request and starts working. Since the product data is stored in the database, the back-end queries the database to fetch the information. Once the database returns the data, the backend processes it, formats it properly, so it's ready to be sent back. Then, the API delivers that data to the front-end, and finally, the front-end renders it on your screen. And that's the entire process behind showing you a feed of trending products on Amazon, or even those funny cat videos on your Instagram. What's really amazing is that this whole cycle happens in just milliseconds. Understanding this flow not only helps you become a better web developer, but also gives you a behind-the-scenes knowledge of how the web works. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. And let me know in the comments if you need tutorial on anything else. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.